Hey guys, this is a question I've been getting a lot, so I wanted to walk you through how you can decide where a course fits as far as science versus non-science and how to assign it within CASPA for PA school applications. Okay, so I've listed out a few courses here that we're going to look at, and I'm going to show you the process that I go through when I'm doing pre-PA assessments and GPA calculations to try to determine how CASPA is going to classify a grade. There are a couple things I want to note. So first of all, you cannot decide what you think the course falls under. You have to go identically based on what's on your transcript. So everything you enter in your transcript should be exactly how it transfers to CASPA. And that's what you have to go by when assigning a course grade. So over here, I have CASPA pulled up in the CASPA FAQ. So this talks about CASPA transcript entry, and I'll link to this, but um, just know, you know, when you are kind of entering things, this talks about how to do it and how to assign it. So first, enter the course title. Enter the course subject. If you're unsure, make your best guess. And so this is where you have to go based on what you think the course falls under most um, appropriately. And then they're going to double check it when they go through to verify your application. So this is talking all about courses. If we go to this, this is where I'm going to show you in just a second. So, um, okay, I have this list of courses. So in this courses, I'm looking at, I'm going, okay, this is environmental studies, environment and human health. Is that a science course? Is it not? Who knows? So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Google and I'm going to type in CASPA course subjects. So when I pull that up, this first link, which I use all the time, um, is going to be the list of CASPA course subjects. So when you get to this FAQ section, it's good to read the entire FAQ, and I cannot say that enough. But um, think about it. CASPA has to standardize your application and standardize your coursework. So they have to make these categories to be able to calculate your GPAs. All of these will go into overall. Not all of them will go into science. This is important. If you're not sure which course subject to choose based on your course's title, it goes by the title first, default to the department the course is offered through. During verification, they're going to double check that. Um, if you disagree with the course subject selected during verification, you can kind of dispute that. To be honest, most of the time it does not change. So I don't know that I'd recommend trying to do that. So looking at this list, um, it talks about everything that's included in kind of biology, chemistry, physics, GPAs, behavioral sciences. These are all the subjects right here in this column that you can choose from on CASPA. So there's a lot of options and this is a great list to use if you're trying to boost your science GPA and choose classes um, to make sure the ones you're taking are gonna fall under science. So this is a pretty comprehensive list. Um, so if you take CPR through a school, it counts as science, you know, first aid, something that you're getting credit for through a college course, nutrition, um, pharmacology, all kinds of stuff. So anyway, so this is our list. So let's say, let's go back to our list of courses we're unsure about. So ES366, and these are all from people that have done calculations for and courses that we've kind of had questions about. So the course subject is environmental studies. The course title is environment and human health. Now this one in particular, they were concerned because they're like, this is a biology course. This was definitely science based. So if we go to CASPA, you're gonna do command or control find. And I'm gonna type in environment and see what comes up. So we have environmental studies, which is a non-science GPA. And then we have environmental health and environmental science that are both science GPA. Going back to our list here, um, and I'll try to make it so you can see all of this. There we go. Going back to our list, so environment and human health is the title of the course. To me, that fits most closely with environmental health. It's got environment in it, it's got health in it. Um, that makes sense. So that would make this course fall under science GPA. Whereas if it's environmental studies going off the subject, which is your kind of secondary option, that's going to be non-science. Because if we go back to environmental studies, it falls under non-science. 
So let's move on to another environmental studies class. Internet environment, well, that's all it says on the transcript, environ policy. So I'm just going to type in some, some keywords here. Internet. Okay, internet. Non-science. Which I figured because a lot of pretty much any policy class or technology class, unless it's very heavy in the sciences, um, is going to be non-science. So that course would be non-science. Based on the internet, we can type in policy, and you'll see that pretty much all the policy ones, um, public policy falls under non-science. Environmental studies falls under non-science. So you would, I would assign that under internet. Moving on to another environmental studies course here, disease ecology. So let's type in disease. Oh, look, disease is there. So that's a science course. Um, and so you would enter that subject as disease based on this course title. So let's move on to some that can be a little bit questionable. So on these CASPA course subjects, if you look up public health right here, it falls under a science GPA course. Now, if we look at the course title for this, it is biostatistics. So if we type that into our search, biostatistics is non-science. Same with statistics and math courses. No matter what the prefix is, even if it's a biology course, your statistics or biostats class is never going to be a science course. It will always be a non-science and you will always assign it based on that title of the course. So moving on, here's a biology course, energy and living systems. So let's start with energy. Nothing comes up. Living systems. Nothing comes up. So for that one, there's nothing in that title that we can assign to a subject in CASPA, and I'll show you that in a second, but um, there's nothing we can assign. So in that case, we default to biology, which is obviously going to be a science course, and you can just enter biology. The next example, sociology, medical sociology. So if we type in medical, let's see what comes up. We have biomedical science, which is a science GPA, medical terminology, which is non-science, will always be non-science, medical chemistry, that doesn't fit, medical ethics, which I want you to note is non-science, any ethics courses are non-science, biomedical engineering, that does not fit, and then medical technology, that also does not fit. So you can't make any of those medical ones fit. So in this case, we default sociology, which is a non-science GPA. So even though it has the word medical in it, it's still that main subject is sociology. And so that's not going to count as science. Let's move on to the next one, public health. So as I mentioned, public health is a science GPA course typically. So let's see if there's anything. And I actually wanted to do this one because I feel like it's a very specific course. So if your school has specific courses like mine had, I don't know, history of rock and roll, you know, something crazy. Immigrant and refugee health. That's really specific. So there's nothing for immigrant. I truly doubt there's anything for refugee. Um health, what comes up? Community health, which is non-science. Health education and health science administration, which are non-science. Personal health, which is non-science. Biobehavioral health, that doesn't fit. Environmental health. And then down here, we just have health, health science, health services, health technology, which are all science. Um, so that could potentially fit, but I do think for this one, since it is specific, I would probably put it under public health. Um, but I think either one would work. So either just health in general or public health. Now moving on to the psychology course, um, psychology 3020s, health psychology. In this case, you know, could you put it under health and see what happens? Maybe, but to be honest, psychology courses are all non-science. So if you look at this list, the, I mean, the, even biological psychology, all non-science. So this is going to be typically a psychology course. It's going to be non-science. Um, same thing goes with human development. And then all those sociologies fall under there as well, as well as anthropology too. So, okay, that's kind of how to classify your experience. And then I just want to show you in Casper real quick what that looks like. So when you're entering your transcripts, this is what it looks like for, and this is just an account I made, but 
Um, you enter your course code, course title, subject, which is where you choose what we just talked about, credits, grade, and then they calculate the CASPA grade. So let's make this a little bit smaller. It'll let me. Okay. Um, so let's use one of these as an example. We'll do this first one. So if I enter ES366, and this should be exactly as like what's on your transcript environment and human health and then when I go to subject I should be able I just clicked E to go down and choose um, environmental health okay and so that's where that list is really helpful and it's gonna save you time so that you're not just sitting here searching this list I mean that's a huge list so credits um, you typically aren't going to use this unless your school has a weird grading system but usually you're going to have like a 3.0 um, or a 3 so um, and then grade so you're going to enter your grade exactly like was on CASPA so they do use plus minus you can enter whatever your grade was there and then you can save that so success um, I hope that helps to clarify some of that if you have any questions leave a comment and I will try to get to those and help you out so yeah